Hello and welcome to Kitty and Hero Diaries. It's the last day of May and as you can see I'm in the hammock. It's another beautiful morning in the Poitou Charente. Goodness knows how I ever had the time to do any work when I was working. Being retired I'm just so busy. There's a hectare of land here and another acre of woodlands that we take care of and uh, it fills the time. I can tell you it fills the time. So uh, welcome back to those who've watched the channel before. For those who haven't, I am um, I'm just recording the uh, the, the long-term ownership experience of, of the electric uh, Kia e Nero, and um, also making comments about the electric car business as a whole. My previous video um, got a lot of comments and a lot of views. Um, I posted about, if you haven't seen it, I posted about uh, all the ridiculous uh, videos that are coming up uh, on the... Um, on YouTube that, that this engine is going to kill EVs or this is the death of the EV industry. Um, they don't sat, stand serious scrutiny, they're all nonsense and of course we all know that uh, the car industry is only going one way. There's no way back for the internal combustion engine. Sales are declining steadily and hydrogen, just forget it, all the nonsense about hydrogen. Anyway, I thought this was a, a good opportunity to um, talk about um, range loss and battery degradation. Um, one of the uh, comments I had on that last video was, so how much range have you lost on your electric car um, since you've had it? Not have you lost any range, but how much have you lost? Um, you know, which the short answer is none. And as I've reached 81,000 kilometres, which is 50,000 miles, that's a kind of a bit of a sort of a landmark mileage it's not a super high mileage but I've owned cars over my 40 odd years of driving and when you get to 50,000 miles in a car it's kind of had the rough edges knocked off it you know what you're dealing with any early problems that were from you know the manufacturing stage have been sorted out um, and I've had a few new cars in my time not that I've ever paid for them they're mostly company cars but um Yes, yeah, so I have some experience of taking a car from new up to 50,000 kilometres, but this is the first car that I've ever bought with my own money and, uh, and got to that stage. So, um, range loss then, none, none at all. But of course, there must be some battery degradation, which is why range loss and battery degradation are not the same thing. Now, you may think that's an illogical statement to make because... Um, you know battery degradation causes range loss but of course there's the range loss that you can see in the battery degradation that you can't always see I mean as soon as you start to use an electric car you plug it in you run the car you run the battery down a bit then you plug it in again you're beginning to use the capacity of that battery but most batteries and the key e Nero is no exception here I think um, they have the battery you can use and then the battery that is sort of in reserve. Now in my ignorance I used to think that um, there were kind of little bits of the battery that were kept aside for when your main battery starts to fail and the, the battery management system will gradually bring those into play but of course it doesn't work like that. With the e-Nero it's made up, the battery is made up of 294 cells that are arranged in three modules of 98 cells each and what's available to me is 64 kilowatt hours but in fact if you do a bit of digging you find that the actual battery is 67 and a half kilowatt hours so the battery management system then uh, just makes sure that each cell doesn't go to its full maximum it keeps a little bit of headroom on on the cells and likewise as you go down towards zero percent it never you know you you can run your car i mean i've been in the four and a bit years of owning the car is seven percent that's the lowest i've ever seen on there there are some youtube videos where they literally drive a car until it won't go anymore and the battery says zero percent but of course um it's not at zero volts the cells are still maintaining uh, a voltage and uh, the battery management system makes sure that there is a voltage on the cells even though it won't let you drive the car anymore um, that's to protect the battery of course 
Um, so there's a kind of a, a floor and a ceiling voltage on the cells that the battery management system maintains. So why does the manual say you should plug in once a month and charge it to 100%? Well, the way it's been explained to me is that uh, it gives the battery management system a chance to look across all the cells and see what their voltage is when you charge to 100%. And if it sees a cell or a couple of cells that are not reaching that voltage, they will get dropped out by the uh, battery management system and they will increase the voltage slightly on all the other cells and as I say there's 294 cells in the pack, in the pack. Um, and that's how it appears to me that there's no range loss but there obviously must be some battery degradation I mean it's four and a bit years old uh, most people who get out their OBD device and look at all the cell voltages you can see that after um, you know 50,000 miles for five years you're typically looking at 3%, 4% battery degradation but that is not necessarily meaning range loss so range loss and battery degradation are not the same thing from the driver's point of view so I just wanted to make that clear um, anyway I hope you found that interesting and um, there's quite a lot going on in the world of batteries so there's a lot to talk about there and um, yeah, I hope you're enjoying some great weather too. Until the next time.